Yeah. Nice cool. I got this juice. juice. No AP. She got it, juice. That's right. I got your juicy entertainment on this wet, rainy Wednesday. Uh, I bet they never saw this one coming. Wow. A uh, man who claims he is the naked baby on the front of the Nirvana 1991 famous Nevermind album cover is suing them, the band, for sexually exploiting him. Now, you remember the album cover. It had uh, a naked baby in a swimming pool uh, swimming after a dollar bill on a fishing hook. Well, the man, whose name is Spencer Eldon, who is now 30, has filed a lawsuit against the band claiming that he obviously didn't give his consent to his image being used, but also argues that his legal guardians didn't either. He's also claiming that the band made a promise that they would cover his genitals on the cover, but that did not happen. He's accusing Nirvana of failing to protect and prevent him from being sexually exploited and claims that he has endured lifelong damages as a result. Um, he calls in the lawsuit the image child pornography and he wants the band and Kurt Cobain's estate to pay to each of them pay him at least $150,000 in damages so he's looking for about $300,000 but here's the thing first of all where were his guardians all these years why didn't they make a complaint about the album cover that has been circulating and so famous um, and second of all he redid the album cover in 2016 as a grown man in the swimming pool exactly the same way obviously wearing swimming trunks though so i'm a little confused by all of this i guess you know the pandemic has uh, caused him to uh, be a little short of cash possibly um speaking of children being exploited r kelly's criminal sex trial is underway and one of the two women interviewed by gail king back in 2019 the famous interview is now on the witness stand now we don't know which one it is um but she's claiming he was controlling them right then and there during the interview. Now, the witness is being ID'd as Jane Doe, so we know it's either Joycelyn Savage or Ariel Cl uh, Azriel Clary. Um, but uh, the woman testified Tuesday in a federal court in Brooklyn telling the jury that R. Kelly was pulling the strings as Gail asked them both the questions. Everything that we already knew. She says R. Kelly would cough on the set that day to keep them on script as the taping went on, all in an effort she alleges to make sure that they backed his denials. Uh, Jane Doe also claims that R. Kelly made sure that they weren't allowed to watch surviving R. Kelly docuseries. She also went on to testify that R. Kelly promised to promote her music career when they first got together but offered her nothing in the end. She said that he once punished her by making her have sex with a guy whose nickname was Nephew as R. Kelly watched in the room. She also said that uh, Nephew had also been groomed from a young age by R. Kelly as well. Now so far, two women have testified in the trial, both alleging that he's abused them since they were teenagers, and uh, more witnesses are expected to testify as things move along. Things are not looking good for R. Kelly. Now, yesterday I told you about the Tiffany & Co. About Love campaign, which I think is fabulous, by the way. It features Jay-Z and Beyonce. Uh, well, Beyonce, who's wearing the priceless Tiffany diamond, the famous giant yellow diamond pendant, um, she is the first black woman and the first, fourth person to wear this legendary stone since its discovery back in 1877. Now, you would think that this first would be a great moment. Well, it's been hit with severe criticism. Of course. Um, the yellow diamond was first discovered in a Kimberly diamond mine in South Africa back in 1877. And Charles Lewis Tiffany purchased the 287.42 carat rough stone the following year. Now, it has only been worn by four women, including Beyonce, as the first black woman. Well, the critics were quick to point out the ongoing scandals involving blood diamonds and the exploitation of African workers. Critics stormed the internet by the thousands and called out Jay-Z and Beyonce. Well, Mama Tina was not having that and she jumped in the comments to call out the naysayers and said, how many of you socially conscious activists own diamonds? I thought so. Well, guess what? Did you try to check to see where the diamond came from? Probably not. So when you guys get engaged, you won't have a diamond. You're going to just put on a sterling silver band. And you better check where that came from, too. 
And while you're at it, check out the leather that you're wearing because it came from another country and has been banned in certain places. And you better ban it and not buy diamonds. And because you're righteous, right? She really went in. Um, you could see she was angry. There was a whole bunch of grammar and typos, but definitely written with pure rage and anger. But you can't blame her. It definitely is a beautiful, beautiful uh, ad campaign. And uh, Tiffany and Co. have agreed to donate $2 million to his historically black colleges and universities with the campaign. So they're doing something fantastic. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Make sure you lock it in again tomorrow for more of the juice. And you know I got to hit you with some Jay-Z and Beyonce right here on the all-new KISS 96.